with your trader's friend. Thank you for joining me today for another video. I'm so glad you could be here with me. Guys, I was tempted to make this video much earlier this morning and I thought, ah, no, I'm not going to make this video, but I've again decided to go ahead with this and I'm going to show you what it is that I have going on with my chart because this is the Euro USD on the five minute time frame and you can see that I'm currently in two shorts right now but when I got up this morning you can see that I drew this little trend channel and I was looking for the opportunity to trade the bounces in this channel however we got a break of that bottom trend line a break and a close below that not only that we got a strong close below that 10 period SMA we also got a close below that 50 period SMA so that's what we have going on there which was definitely a good indication to enter you got what looked like a hesitation at this 200 period SMA but price just continued to fall down in a very strong bearish fashion and this is really the reason I made this video and I started to make it when that 10 period was way up here but one of the things that I like to look for in a really good trade is the strength of my price action and I am looking for my price action to far exceed the rate of movement from my moving averages give you an example you can see up here you have your moving average and I'm using a 10 period SMA you can see that price is just kind of hanging out with that just kind of hanging out with that so I know based on that that that's the kind of trade that you're looking to get in you're looking to get out however when you have price far outrunning your moving average like that you know that you're in for a pretty good ride actually when price was when I first thought about making the video and price was outrunning the moving average the moving average was way up here and I said ah, I'm not gonna make this video and I've since come back to it now I'm going to take you to the one minute time frame so that you can see what's going on there because I actually drew these yellows and let me make those oranges so that you can clearly see that okay guys you can see about 13 minutes give or take of price hesitation here and I actually expected that price would sit here a little bit longer because you got a drop of about 45 pips give or take so I thought that price was going to hesitate here for just a bit longer and this is what it looks like on the one minute time frame so we got to this period where we were just kind of bouncing back and forth and I thought that like I said that it was going to go um, beyond that however it did not and let me show you this entrance on the one minute time frame as well and this is just a traditional entry that I like to see on the one minute time frame now this is the trend channel from the five minute time frame and you can see how price is just kind of bouncing along there but one of the things that you notice is we have gotten that strong break below that 50 period SMA on the one minute time frame and you see how you just continue to bounce under that 50 period SMA and you're bouncing on top of that 200 period SMA however we come in now we have the break and close below the 200 SMA so if you didn't get in here which you would have gotten stopped out had you waited until you got in there unless now unless you use this previous candle just a few pips above that then you would not have gotten stopped out so if you use that previous candle rule, rule you would not have gotten stopped out so your stop would have been placed just a few pips above that and if you wait this price action out guess what you would not have been stopped out now if you chose to wait until you got this strong break and close below the 200 SMA then look at how beautifully that falls down and this is the one minute time frame 
that we're talking about and you know that it is my my first choice in time frame and the five minute is the second one but it's I also use the five minute in conjunction with the one minute to kind of help me gauge where I am in the trade and we can go back to the five minute but also as you know I am doing more longer term trading now that I am selling cars so um, I don't get this privilege very often anymore of just getting in here and getting to trade in real time. Guys, I just want to remind you that you can absolutely do this. You can be successful at Forex. Have a terrific trading week. By the way, be sure to have some fun.